Hello everyone, it's Paul here and welcome along to my workshop. I'd like to give a shout out to somebody. Um, he hasn't got many videos at all, but it, what he does is absolutely brilliant to watch. And he, I mean, I think as of today he has about eight videos on there. And, of all, and he has double the amount of subscribers I have, so though uh, you, most of you may well already be subscribed to him. The person I'd like to give a shout out to, and I'll put a link down below and probably on the end screen, is Stephen with his 8x6 workshop. Please, if you're not subscribed, go along and have a look. There's two videos, I mean I'm still going through some of his videos now. Two videos are a must to look at. One, his intro. Go and find his intro. For what he packs in an 8x6 workshop, I mean, and I'm talking feet, not metres, so it's small. It's like a TARDIS. For the, anybody who knows Doctor Who, uh, you'll know what a TARDIS is. You go in there and every inch of space is utilised. He's got probably got more machinery than me, um, and I've got a bigger workshop, and I'm struggling for space. And he can wheel all his machinery out and use it all. His second video I watched this morning when I got up. Um, it's the one about the useful penguin. It adds a lot of kuma to it. Um, so bear with it when it first starts. And it is really, really a wonderful video. So Stephen, thank you very much because I'm thoroughly enjoying your channel and I really, really do hope that you upload a lot more videos soon. So like I say, links below and um, hopefully on the end screen credits. Uh, project this time, uh, <coughs> my multi lidded multi section box. Uh, I've always had a love of boxes like this, and last time I probably did something very, very similar to this was quite some time ago. Uh, I might put a link at the end of the video or not. But I think it was out of a piece of um, apple. Well, that's what people thought it was. Um, and basically, it was just probably a bit shaped like an urn, and it had one little drop down section inside with a fairly basic lid. So this time, I mean, I basically picked up a piece of Spotwood Beach, which you see at the beginning of the video. And I started this last weekend, and it wasn't. There was no rush to do it, I was just going to do it between projects, here, there and everywhere. Like I say, it's one piece of spoiled beach there. The idea is, is that the bottom section there and this top section are both, both basically like separate pieces of boxes themselves. The lid can fit on either one, as in that way. In the top of this top one, I've also got a separate little lid, which I mean you could use it as a ring stand or something like that. That will also fit onto to both. And the only oddball bit I've done here is this little sort of like cup. I suppose it looks a bit like a hat, I suppose really. It will only actually fit in the top and because I wanted to do something extra in there, I don't know whether you call it a surprise or anything, I and mean, I just had to use it out of, had to use a separate piece, piece of sport would be so it, it does sort of stick out a little bit. It doesn't look sort of like that it fits. Um, problems? Um, where do I start? Well, in actual fact, <laughs> I didn't. I hardly had any problems whatsoever on this. I deliberately left the tenons on both of these because I just knew that I was going to have to adjust certain things. Uh, for example, I think when I, I did the insert, uh, sorry, when I did this lid, I had to go back and widen both the openings on both the boxes so it fitted properly. Um, and again, for, for the overall lid, I then had to modify both bits on bit there um, so that it fitted nicely. Um, but like I say, first problem came probably yesterday when I was making up my jam chuck to push these on and I think it was this it was actually this one um, pushed it on and it just split the wood so I, I basically just dropped some wood glue in there 
didn't clamp it or anything because it's still got a lot of pressure on there. Um, left it overnight, come out this morning, redid the jam chuck, took off the bottom, no problems whatsoever. My only other one, like I said, the only other problem I had as well was with the lid. Um, there is a, I didn't realise I'd gone so thin on the top and I've put a 5mm hole in there and it's it must be that lid at the very top there must be about 3mm thick so I've basically just gone right through with the drill bit um, but it's not too obvious finial turned out absolutely fine um, bit of advice actually because I use the ebonizing spray uh, I don't know if everybody uses this Usually when I see people creating their own ebonising solution and stuff like that, yes it turns the wood fairly black, but it doesn't always, as far as I'm aware, turn it right back jet black. And I'm just wondering actually, I'd actually use another piece of spoiled beach for this finial because I was hoping what I was going to do was, what I really wanted to do was just really, really darken this up. So I was just, like I say, I'm not going to do anything to this now, but just for future projects, um, a bit of advice. If I cut that back with sandpaper, would it still retain a lot of the blackness on there or am I likely to get this all patchy so I mean I, I dare say it's it's almost like a paint um, my way of thinking here uh, and because it doesn't really stain the wood I'm just thinking that if I cut that back with sandpaper that's just gonna look so blotchy and patchy that it's it's just not gonna work so um, for probably the effect I want I'm probably gonna have to have made up my own ebonizing solution opinions on the shape um, I absolutely love it um, I really really do like the shape and I think this dark brown piece of wood down here um, because it matches in with all three sections as it's there I think it looks absolutely wonderful my only other thing you probably noticed on the video as well was when I was hollowing out this top section I could only get my scraper in because I haven't got any hollowing tools I could only get my scraper in at a certain angle and I thought right well I don't want to leave thick chunky walls at the top so that's why I then curved this in here I've seen a few videos about of, of different things people have done and I think what I'm going to do it may come up in the next project video or two of something else I'm going to try to make my own small hollowing tool of sorts just so that I could have got round there under the lip to take that out so hopefully, like I say, I'll have a go at something and, and whether I put up as a project video, you'll, you'll just have to wait and see. So if this is your first time here, I'm doing different projects all the time. At the moment the theme sort of seems to be lidded boxes, um, but I don't really specialise in one thing. I've been turning now since about June, July last year, so seven or eight months, and I'm still massively learning. Um, so like I say, different things all the time. So please do subscribe, you'll get notified every time I upload a video. For my existing subscribers, again, a big, big thank you very much. You keep coming back, it's, it's so most appreciated. Um, it's why I just keep doing it, keep learning all the time. So I'd appreciate it if everybody hit the like button, hit the share button, and please do leave a comment below. So again, Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all on the next project video. Thanks a lot. Bye.